Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna introduce you to my e-commerce website. This is a new course that I'm putting out and just talk about some of the site features, how I'm gonna be releasing this course and a cool little feature that's gonna come along with this course. So I've been posting about this for about a month and I got distracted with the side project, but I really wanted to release these videos with the side project um, along with it because it is gonna be something cool that you can actually use with this and I'll show it to you in a second here. So. Let's go ahead and look at the website that we're gonna be putting together. And this is just an e-commerce website and it's gonna have a cool feature here that I'm gonna show you in a second, but um, essentially the website is a pretty small website. It has its homepage. We can add to cart right here. We'll see the car update and let's add a few shoes to our cart. So we have three products in cart and we can go check out our store. So here's our store. And within our store, I wanted to add the ability to add some quantity. So as we update this quantity right here, we're gonna see the totals update and the totals right here uh, change as we change what's in our cart. From our cart, we can go to the checkout page and here we'll add in some information like user information, shipping address, and basic things that come with it. When we hit continue, we're gonna have a payment option pop up and then we are gonna have our uh, car, again, it's just, gonna, it's just gonna repeat, but once the user pays, they're gonna go back to this uh, homepage and the car will refresh. So we have four items in the car and this is to a logged in user. So if we look in our admin panel, we have a user here and uh, here's an active order. I've been working with this for a while. So we're doing everything from the admin panel as far as the user account. But if we sign out right now, what's gonna happen here before we check out, we're gonna see this car update. So we're no longer getting the user information, but the feature that I wanted to add here that I thought would make this site really special is the ability to check out as a guest. This is kind of expected on websites now. Not everybody wants to have to create an account. We just wanna uh, find a product we want, buy it, and maybe never visit that website again. So we want the user to have the ability because we can miss out on a lot of sales that way. So in this case, we're not a logged in user. The cart is empty and we are gonna be able to add items this way. So our cart's gonna update. We can go to our cart, again, do the same thing, manipulate the quantity, go to checkout, except for this time, because we are not a logged in user, we are gonna ask the user for at least a name and email so uh, we have a way to contact them if something goes wrong with the order, and um, that's essentially it. So the cart here is gonna be built out through our browser's cookies. So if we go into our cookies here. So if we go to application and we go to site cookies, we are building a cart right here. So it's just this object right here that is being added or being updated as the user manipulates their cart. When they sign out of the, or when they close the website and they go back to it, they're still going to be able to see the items in their cart. And then once we check out, we're actually going to save these items in the database. So right now, none of these items are in the database. They're being stored in the browser but then the user can check out. So this is gonna be a cool feature that, again, I haven't seen that often in tutorials or I don't think I found one that um, allows both sides of this where logged in and uh, just site visitors can purchase something and check out. So let's talk about the course really quick and how I'm gonna be putting this together. And this is actually that side project that um, I'm gonna be releasing with this course that's gonna be a premium product that users will be able to, or viewers can upgrade to and actually follow along, but I am gonna be using this to make the video. So essentially, this is just a step-by-step -step course that uh, is broken up into modules. And we are gonna start from putting the site template together. So the very, very basics to the data structure, the site functionality, this is gonna be where we will implement things like add to cart. In fact, actually, let me just open that up. So these, uh, these modules right here are color-coded with this sidebar. So we can open these up and actually see all the parts within each step. So if we go to the project setup and template, we're first gonna configure our app. So let's open that up. And here you'll see the introduction to this part and then each step. So we're gonna start all the way from pip installing Django to uh, setting up our website. And then we go through templates, views, static files. So we're really going through this entire process and through each step, I'm gonna be providing a lot of source code, a lot of screenshots in what we're doing. So this is gonna be a, a cool little bonus that you can use and the first module is gonna be free so anybody can start using this. Then we're gonna get into the data structure. We're gonna set up our models. 
We're gonna go into how to render these products out in our cart, how to actually see the user's cart, and then in module three, we are gonna add site functionality. So this is gonna be things like uh, allowing the user to add to cart, updating the cart, working with that shipping information form, and handling all the logic for a logged in user. So module three, again, is gonna take care of logged in users. And then in module four, this is where we are actually gonna start uh, putting in that guest checkout feature. So allowing users to check out as a guest, this is where we'll start building our cookies here, setting up our car in the browser, and eventually going through that checkout process. And in module five, which I'm still working on right now, this is gonna be that payment integration. So we're gonna allow the users to check out without a payment at first, and then finally we'll close it off with that payment integration. We'll just be using PayPal. Um, it does have a credit card and the PayPal button option. So it is a full checkout process, but you could integrate Stripe or whatever other payment gateway you might wanna use for this. So that's the entire website and the course that's gonna go along with it. I'm looking to start filming uh, tomorrow and then hopefully have it to you early or midweek. So that's what I'm gonna be working on and I'm super excited to release this and I'm ready for you guys to see the project.